In this video, I'm going to tell you about three lenses that are going to save you money and give you a better quality picture than the kit lens that comes with the ZV-E10 or the ZV-E10 Mark II. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry for the background noise. The back porch is the studio for today. Today I wanted to show you three excellent lenses that you can get for your Sony ZV-E10, your ZV-E10 Mark II, or any E-mount Sony APS-C camera that you buy. I don't want to waste your time, so let's jump right into this. So first, we're starting off with kind of a bit of an honorable mention. It is this. Now, the lens that comes with the ZV-E10 Mark I or II is a 16 to 50 3.5 lens. This one here is a little bit of a different focal range. It's an 18 to 55. So why would I say you should skip the kit lens and get this instead? This thing is a little bit older than the kit lens that comes with the original ZV-E10, but I personally feel like the color reproduction on this lens and the overall image quality is a little bit better. Not only is it slightly better, but you can get it for almost half the price as the kit lens. If you buy the kit lens with the ZV-E10, the lens costs you about a hundred bucks. If you buy the lens separately, it comes out to around like 120 something. I'll throw a screenshot here somewhere of how much it costs. But this one you can get for under 80 almost all of the time. So right now you're looking at video coming from the kit lens Let's throw this lens on and you can see the image is just as good, maybe a little better. And for half the price, you should definitely pick this up instead of the kit lens. So now my camera is wearing the 18 to 55 and I have the kit lens here. You can see the difference in size. This lens looks a little more substantial than the kit lens and I think it kind of is. I like the color reproduction out of this lens a lot better. Now, the quality of this lens isn't going to blow you away like the other two lenses, but I just wanted to throw into this little list a lens that you can save a few dollars to pick up, forget about the little kit lens, save half the price, and get something a little bit better. Now, as far as photos go, I'm going to walk around, take a few shots with this 18-55. to Bear in mind, the aperture is the same. It's going to be a... 3.5 aperture for both of these lenses. That being said, it's not bad for photography either. It is a, a wide angle all the way up to 55, so you can use it for portraits. But with the other two lenses that are on this list, I would recommend using this one for landscapes and leave the portraits to this next one. So as you can see, the images from this lens, they are pretty good, but they are not gonna compare to this. This is the TT Artisan 1.2 50mm and you can get this thing for i believe around 112 dollars now this is a 50 millimeter lens which means you're going to need to be significantly further away from your subject if you're taking somebody's portrait or anything of that manner it's kind of an insane beast of a lens it is a manual lens meaning there are no electronic connections on the back of this lens and you have to adjust all the settings yourself. So you do need to know what you're doing in order to take good images with this lens. But if you do know what you're doing, it literally costs less than the kit lens that comes with the ZV-E10. It's made of metal. The glass is incredible. And the images that you can get out of this thing are absolutely striking. I forgot to mention, it's a 1.2. That is an absolutely massive opening on this lens. I have yet to find a higher quality, less expensive lens at 1.2. But again, just bear in mind, this is a manual lens. It's not going to focus on its own. It's not going to change the aperture on its own. You have to do all of that. We've seen a lens with a huge aperture at 1.2. We've seen an automatic lens with range 16 to 50 or the 18 to 55 that I still have on the camera right now. How about an autofocus lens that doesn't cost a lot of money, but it takes pictures that look like they were taken with this and still doesn't break the bank. This is the TT Artisan 56mm 
1.8 lens. It is an autofocus lens. So you can see on the back there are connectors here that will connect to your camera and allow your camera to control this lens if that's an option that your camera Present. So what are the benefits of using something like this over something like this? Well, you kind of get the best of both worlds and that's why I absolutely love this lens and would recommend that anyone with an E-mount APS-C camera picks up this lens because you get that great background blur that this 1.2 will get you, although to a slightly lesser degree because it is a 1.8, not a 1.2, but you get the ease of use of the kit lens. You just point, it auto focuses, you hit the shutter, picture done. This lens only comes with one control on it. You can use that to set the focus if you wanna shoot in manual mode. The rest, like the aperture, that's done on camera. So this lens comes in at around 128 bucks and I don't think you're gonna find a better autofocus lens at 1.8 made of metal for $128. It's what I shoot pretty much all of my B-roll on. And using this one, you can use that touch focus feature on the back of your screen, and this lens will automatically focus. It's autofocus. So now that you've had a chance to see what the difference in the photo quality of each of these lenses is, let's take a look at a little bit of video. Now, this video is being shot on one of the lenses. The beginning of it wasn't, but now it is. So this is the video quality of your 18 to 55. Now this, this is the TT Artisan 50mm 1.2. Bear in mind I had to back further away from the subject to get the shot in similar framing. And this is the TT Artisan 56mm autofocus at 1.8. So considering that you can get all three of these lenses for a little or significantly less than the little 16-50 to 50 kit lens that comes with the ZV-E10, you can see why I recommend skip the kit lens just get the camera body and find a few higher quality lenses on Amazon. You can up the quality of those photos instantaneously and without spending more money. That's it. Bye.